You didn't brush your teeth. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Now she did. Okay. No, okay. Oh, let me make sure I'm unmuted. Yep. All right, girls, we're going to get started in a few minutes. We have some more girls coming in. Hi. Mm -hmm. You can say hi to each other. Go ahead and wave. I'm going to be having you girls on mute so we don't hear each other's um background noise and kind of it like, gets all a little staticky and stuff <clears throat> that's me no oh admit <clears throat> Why do you have that picture right there? Because they the brownies are doing a cabin one. Why are they doing a cabin one? Because their badges are actually different from everybody else's and they do a cabin. How come I didn't do a cabin one? Because you're just different. Each level is different. So what am I what do? You do? Mm, you did a regular camper one. We're oh, gonna do it again. That's fun. We're recording and they can hear us. Hold on, girls. Admit, admit. Okay. Hold on. Let me get some girls. Okay. Let Okay, so, all right, girls, we're going to go ahead and get started. Some girls are going to come probably in late, and that's okay. It's going to take me a few minutes because I have to admit them. Um, so if you just bear with me, and we'll go through this. So I'm going to do some introductions, okay? So my name is Natasha. I work for the Girl Scouts. I actually run all the programs here in Kern County. And today I actually have my daughter helping me and she is a junior. And this is her. Say hi, Ashlyn. Hi. So she's going to be leading you today in the promise and the law. And if you don't know it, that's okay. I'm going to zoom in as close as I can to it so you guys can see. So she's going to start off with the promise. Go ahead. On my honor, my I, honor will I will try to serve, to serve God, God and my country to help people at all times. You help me Very good, girls. I can hear. I can hear everybody doing that. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and move to the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly, helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, better place, and be a for every Girl Scout. Very good. Okay, so all the girls that are coming in or that are already in, we need to make sure that you guys are on mute so we don't hear your background or um, talking about, uh, all at once. Because if we all talk at once, we can't hear each other. Okay, so give me a minute because I have a couple of girls coming in right now. Okay, so the way I'm going to see if you guys have completed your task or your step is you're going to go ahead and give me your thumbs up, all right? And then we'll move on to our next activity. Hold on, I have another girl coming in. 
Let me see. I think I added her. Yep. Okay. All righty. So our first part of today is we're going to talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to talk about what's kind of going on. So I know it can be kind of scary right now. And that's okay. So whatever feelings you're feeling, you can always talk to your parents about everything. Um, we want to make sure that you guys stay safe and stay home. And as the staff here for Girl Scouts, we are always going to be here for you girls too. And we're going to make you have fun today, okay? So we know we can't actually take you guys camping or go in a cabin, but we're gonna use our imagination and we're gonna pretend today. So we're gonna talk about all the supplies and I actually have my tent, well, Ashlyn's tent set up outside. So my place looks a little different than your guys's because I actually live in an apartment. So I have a little bit of green space in the back, okay? So you'll go, we'll go see my tent in a little bit. <clears throat> Oh, hold on. I got someone else trying to come in. Okay, she's at it. All right. So, the first thing, we've got to make sure all the other girls are on mute. Oh my gosh, oh my brownies, make sure you're on mute. Mute. There we go. Okay. So that way we don't hear the background noise. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about doing, plan, <clears throat> excuse me, planning our trip. So Miss Ashlyn is going to read the questions right there. Uh, where will you go? Okay. And then read number two. When you, will you go? Okay. Three. What kind of gear will you bring? Four. Uh, what will you eat? Five. How will you get there? Six. What will you do for fun on your trip? Seven. How will you wash and get your get water on your trip? Eight. How much will the trip cost and how will you get get how will you your group pay for it? Okay. So Miss Ashlyn, what did we decide yesterday where we were gonna go camping with our Daisy friends? Uh, Lake Isabella. Okay, so Lake Isabella. Yesterday, we actually talked with our Daisy friends about where we were going to go camping. So today, we're going to use the same place. So my brownie friends, you can use wherever you want to go. So if you and your family have a favorite cabin that you want to go to or a place that you want to go to, that's fine. You can look at a cabin in Lake Isabella. So we actually looked up a cabin there. And I was looking for something that had a cabin feel to it. And I found this one. And it's got a stove. It's got an, a fireplace in there, a wood-burning fireplace. So that's what we found. So <laughs> Ashlyn said she wants to go there. So she likes that one, too. So she likes that idea. So I found this one on Airbnb. So girls, when you look for a cabin, and if you've never been there, it's important to do your research before you go. So with an adult, your mom or dad, you guys are supposed to get online and search up cabins on where you guys decide to go. So for today, Miss Ashlyn said Lake Isabella. So I searched up a cabin in Lake Isabella and I found this one. So if I scroll down, you can see how many guests it can requ it requires or it can hold. So six guests, two bedrooms, four bath, uh, two bedrooms, four beds, and one bath. So it's important when you're looking for your cabins to see how many guests it can hold. Because if you have a big troop of thirty plus girls, you want to make sure that your cabin can hold up that many. And the best way, if you're not sure if they don't have the guest amount on there, is to actually get a hold of the person who has who owns the cabin. So that's how you look for that part, okay? And then, so when will you go? So deciding when will you go? Huh? 
twelve twenty. <clears throat> so December. Yeah. Oh, so Miss Ashland says she wants to go sometime in December, which is gonna be really cold. So if she wants to go in December, then you would have to plan out, or she would have to plan out what else she would need to go in December because it's supposed to be cold. So we're gonna talk about <laughs> talk about the supplies that she would need. And then you guys actually might decide something different on where you would want to go or when you would want to go. So during the summer, during fall, winter, spring, etc. So that's something you guys decide with your troop and your family. And then what kind of gear will you bring? So Miss Ashlyn decided to do a she wanted to go she wants to go in December. So the supplies that I have right on hand may not be enough supplies to go into December. So we'd have to really think about that. So when she pulls out her supply list, she will go ahead and add, or talk about what else she would need. So when you guys go through your supplies, you need to make sure that you have a list written down of what you still need. So if you're missing a water bottle, you need to put a water bottle down. If you're missing a hat, you need to put a hat. So make sure you go through your gear list and write out what you need still. And then what will you eat? I think that's a fun part hot because dogs. a lot and of, uh, she said hot dogs and hamburgers. Nachos. And nachos. Yeah. So when you're looking for your cabin, you definitely need to make sure if it includes amenities. So what does it have in included? So you can see, that on this oh, one, it wifi. has Wi-Fi, it has a kitchen, it has private entrance, a TV, a carbon monoxide alarm, it's laptop friendly, there's a smoke alarm, indoor fireplace, air conditioning, and hangers. So when you guys look for the cabins, you'll look for this section and see what's included because you got to find out if the kitchen is inside, can you cook? Is it a full kitchen? Are there bathrooms? So you definitely want to check that out. And if the item or the room that you're looking for isn't listed there, you can always contact the owner or the place you're going to to see what they include, okay? Give me a minute, because I saw that there were some girls who need to enter. Oh. Okay, so those girls are in. Okay, so how will you get there? This is where your troop and your or and your family will decide how you will get there. So Ashlyn said we're gonna drive in our car. Are you gonna go with the troop or are you gonna go with family? Going with friends, what do you mean? She's gonna go with friends. Well, you still have to go with an adult. Oh, then I'm gonna take um, Jacob. Uh, mm, Lenaya's mom. <laughs> She's gonna take her friend's mom. Okay, so that's fine. What will you do for fun on your trip? Okay, so I'm gonna swing it over. Marshmallows. So she's gonna roast marshmallows. Hot dogs too. And hot dogs in what? Ooh, uh, uh, the fireplace. In the fireplace. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Um, what else are we gonna do in the cabin? We're gonna ice skate. Ice skate? Yeah. How? Oh, yeah. if they have it, if they have those kind of activities. And then uh, snowboarding. Okay, yeah, that's possible. And uh, skiing. Right, because Miss Ashlyn's talking about going in December, so she wants to see the snow. So she wants to be able to go play in the snow, maybe build a snowman. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> okay, so how will you wash and get water on your trip hmm. okay so we looked at this one and there is bathrooms at this cabin well, we're gonna wash the dishes in the bathroom. no there's a sink there in the kitchen oh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna wash the dishes in the uh, kitchen right and then so there is a shower there i saw that there's a bathroom yes so we have water there but what kind do we need to bring drinking water with us yes Yes. So, or else you're gonna have to go out in Lake Isabella and go to the store, which I'm pretty sure there's nothing in either. No, they have stores there. No, no, not the stores. The, nothing in the store is gonna be there. Not right now. In December, there should be. Okay. Mm. 
All right. So how much will your trip cost and how will your troop pay for it? Okay. So at the bottom of my, the website that I was at, you can see that it says, it's kind of a little blurry. Let me see if I can, it says 150 per night. So whenever you guys look at your cabin, you can look for the price with your parents, okay? And you can figure out how much or how many days you're going to stay there and then how much it's going to cost per day. So let's say, how many days do you want to go for, Ashlyn? A month. A month? You can't do it. Well, you could do a month, but that's a yeah. lot of saving up. Um, seven days. A week. A week? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do math. I'll agree. Math. Yay. So that's over a thousand dollars. Okay. That's over a thousand dollars if she wanted to stay there for a week. A week. <laughs> so that's a lot that's a lot, right? That's okay. Fine. So a thousand dollars for a whole entire week to stay at this cabin that we chose. Yeah. All right, Miss Ashlyn, so how are you gonna do that? How are we going to pay for that? Is the, save up. Save up. Is the troop going to pay for it? No. Who will pay for it? Uh, when you sell Girl Scouts, can you and go to the troop and tell them, um, can we uh, go uh, to Lake Isabella and can we stay in the cabin for a week? Right. Okay. So you're going to ask your Girl Scout sisters if we can do that and your troop leaders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you guys will decide. So if you don't have enough money for from cookies, how else would you guys be able to do it? You guys, what? We haven't fundraised. Yeah, but we so, haven't fundraised mom. <laughs> but some troops will actually fundraise uh, during other times after cookies or um, nuts or after yeah. the nuts <laughs> sales. So. That's how you can pay for your guys' cabin. Mm -hmm. So each cabin will be different price, all right? It's going to be, it'll vary on where you guys go and everything and how far your trip is. So if you guys stay local, it might not be that expensive versus going to up to the Fresno area. That's probably going to, depending on where you're from. So if you're from Kern County, where I'm at, and going up to Fresno, you got to think about how much it's going to cost for gas and your room stay, okay? So those are questions that I want my brownie friends to actually answer at home with their mom or dad or their troop leader or whoever they're with, the adult, the guardian in the house, okay? So you guys actually get to do research. So you'll use your computer or They're your phone, or They're your iPad. Okay, so you'll be able to do that way. No, hold on, I have a couple girls coming in. Okay, so that was that step. So now we're gonna actually, so we talked about how much would it cost to go there. So we just talked about how much it would stay for an entire week, and that was the 150 per night, so it was over $1,000. But that's just the cost of the whole, or the cabin. So how much money do you think we would need for food, Ashlyn, for a whole week? $200. $200? Okay, so that's really tight. We could probably make it work. How much money do you think we would need to, if we wanted to go snowboarding? 300 okay. And then how much money, what else did you want to do? 500 500 for what? So 500 for, like, the fun stuff? Yep. Okay. So you said 200 for food? Yeah. 500 for the fun stuff? Yeah. And then $1,000 for the cabin? Right. Okay. So that kind of adds up, right? So that's why you guys talk about setting, talk about a budget with your troop leader and our parents to figure out $1, yep something like that huh to talk about how much it's going to cost for this trip um so the cabin that we picked actually has like i said a kitchen so this actually is going to come in handy because then you can store your food in the refrigerator that they have we're going to cook huh yeah um 
they're gonna cook. Wait, what? So let me go back and I can show you the kitchen. So when you go onto your websites to look at the cabins, it's very important to look at the pictures because it'll show you what else is included, what has, see there's the kitchen. So it's got a little table and it's got a stove and it's got a refrigerator. So it's important to know if the cabin has the refrigerator so you can store your food in there versus storing it in an ice chest, okay? Um, and then of course this one actually includes a bathroom in it and let me find it. There it is. That's the bathroom. Kind of small, but you know, it'll work. You're only going to be there for a couple minutes anyway. So. A couple minutes? What do you mean? A week long? Well, you'll be in the bathroom, so that's okay. Um, all right, so then you get to see all the other pictures that are included, and there's the big car right there. It's the outdoors. Getting to go explore, right? That's the point right there. So you definitely want to look at to see what kind of scenery you're around. Figuring out what's best for your guys is true. Um, okay. Can we cook inside or outside the cabin? Huh? Can we cook inside or outside the cabin? So I didn't find if we were able to cook outside this cabin. So I don't know if there is a grill area or an outdoor cooking space. So if that's something that you guys want to do, like roasting marshmallows outside under the stars, this is where you would have to contact the owner and ask them and see if there's a space for that. So that's, and then, huh? and then of course running water. You definitely want to make sure the cabin has running water. So for this one, like I said, it does uh, because there's a bathroom in there and there's a, a kitchen that has a sink. Okay, so those are important things to find out. So now we're going to move on to our supplies. And I see a lot of girls actually have their supplies out, which is really good. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to, Miss Ashlyn is going to pull out the supplies that she has in her backpack. And then once she finishes all of her supplies, I'll ask you if you have something that we don't have. And then you can raise your hand, okay? And I'll go through to see what your girls have. All right, Miss Ashlyn, go ahead and pull out your stuff. Okay, so remember, Miss Ashlyn's going to camp in December. So she wants to make sure she's going to bring the supplies that she would need for a whole entire week. So what did you bring? I brought a hat. Nice and loud and clear, Ashlyn, please. I brought a hat. I have tennis shoes. What are the tennis shoes for? To protect your feet from rocks. Okay. I have... Um, uh, rope. rope. I have two strings of rope. Oh, there's more in the backpack. And there is more in the backpack. I have a trash bag. What's the trash bag for? For um, it can, you can use it for uh, a raincoat. What would they have to do to make it a raincoat? You poke a hole at the top, right? At the top. Okay. I have pajamas. So she's got warm pajamas, especially if she's going to go in the cab to the cabin in December. She definitely wants some warm pajamas. But even during the summertime, you still want some warm clothes. And I have a shirt. All right. She's got a long sleeve shirt. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Socks. She's got long socks. Pajamas. Pajamas. Some pants. What's in there? Bug spray and sunscreen. What's the bug spray for? To protect you from bugs. And what's the sunscreen for? Uh, to protect you from the sun. Right, okay. More rope. She's got some more rope. What would we use the rope for? For this, uh, no, not for this. For a trash bag and for clothes. Okay. Then this is a thermometer. Ther so, thermometer. 
and uh, a compass. What's and the compass for? To tell where you want to, or to tell where you to, where to go. Okay, what else is on there? A whistle. What's the whistle for? To tell or to tell people that uh, uh, something might be lost or missing somebody. Right. So you want to blow it really quick. Okay. Okay, so what are you putting in those, um, all those supplies in? A backpack. A backpack. Okay, so you forgot one more thing. It's right next to you. It's a turquoise thing. I uh, also have a uh, water bottle. Can you lift it up really quick? All right, so that's her water bottle. And then behind or right next to her water bottle, she's got her sleeping bag. So the cabin that you guys are going to go to, it might include blankets <clears throat> or it might not. So it's important to find that out, but you can also take your own sleeping bag just in case, you know, that way you have some comfort from home. So another important thing definitely to take with you girls is at least have one of your brownie friends or your troop leader make sure that they're taking the first aid. So that's a very important factor because we definitely want to have that on hand just in case any brownie friend gets hurt or any other girl scout gets hurt all right so now's the time to tell me who has different supplies or who would like to share and i'll go through you guys raise your hand up and i'll go through my list of girls and i'll unmute you and you guys can tell me what you have so let me see those hands Anybody want to share? Okay, so I see Miss Miss Davis. You got a puppy in front of you, right? So let's unmute you. Hold on, sweetie. Let me unmute you. Give me a minute. Okay, go ahead and tell us what you have. Oh, you might have to unmute on your side. Where's your, if you let your mommy know that you got to unmute yours. Uh, she has it unmuted. Okay, there we go. So tell me one, one supply. You got okay. Oh, you got actual hiking boots. Nice. T-shirt, pants, pajamas. Mm hmm. Water bottle. Mm hmm. Nice. That's what we didn't have over here either. Mm-hmm. hmm mm -hmm. A puppy. <laughs> Canned food, right? A pillow. Yeah. And a little pet line. Ah, okay. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so I'm going to put you on mute again. And we're going to go to the next girl. Okay, so who else wants to share? Raise your hand so I can see, sweeties. Let me see, let me see. Anybody else want to share what you guys have? Ah, okay. So I see Miss Jude. I see you waving to me. Hold on, let me let me unmute you, okay? Miss Jude. There you are. Unmute. Okay, Miss Jude, go ahead and share. So I have my tent and it has my sleeping bag. Okay. And I have my suitcase. And you have your what? Oh, your suitcase. Ah, okay. And I also have my uh, first aid kit. Nice. Very good. And I got a flashlight. A flashlight. And a hat. And a hat. Nice. And a rain, uh, a rain jacket. Oh, you actually have a rain jacket. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Okay. 
So. What's up? Thank you for sharing. That was nice. Good job. I told you honestly. Okay. So now we're going to go down to. Okay, so I see the name in my corner, and it's Ruben, and I see you with my girl. So let me unmute you really quick, okay? Hold on. Give me a second. There we are. Unmute. Okay, go ahead and share what you have. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Um, I have. Yeah. Okay. I have a water bottle. Mm -hmm. And I have lots of stuffies. I have a stuffy. Oh, I so have, you have stuff. okay. I have a few games, like a game right here. I got um. I got a flashlight. Mm -hmm. I got a first aid kit. It's a fanny pack. I got bug spray and a hat. Nice. And I got um, sunscreen. I got a backpack. I got um, some clothes. Sorry, Polly. I got some clothes. I got some pajamas. Mm -hmm. I got a pot. <laughs> She's all ready to go. I have a tape measure. <laughs> oh, wow. That's something I don't have. Wow, very I good. Got a plate. <laughs> I got a bowl and a mm -hmm. fork. And I have a spoon and a knife. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll wait. This stuff in my tent. Mom, she got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's because she's ready to go. She's excited. <laughs> I got a blanket. I got some more blankets. Uh huh. And then I have a tent in my living room. Do. It's right. Nice. Here. And then I have some. I have a game. And I got um, three pillows. I meant four. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Thank, Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Okay, I see my girl's hands up, so give me a minute. Okay, she's back on. Okay, so let's go to, I see Miss, uh, the name in my phone, it says Abigail. So Miss Abigail, I think that's your mom's name. That's okay. So I'm going to unmute you and then you're going to share, okay? Unmute. Okay, go ahead and share. I've seen everything I have that I've seen except I don't have what. Either, but I do have one, only one thing that I haven't seen yet. Okay, it's, what is that one thing? It's extra batteries for my flashlight. Oh, very good. Yeah, very, very good. See, I don't have, I can't find my flashlight, but I'm glad you mentioned the extra batteries for your flashlight. That's definitely a must, okay? Because we got to have light just in case. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. So who's next? Uh, anybody else want to share? Okay. I see Denise down at the bottom. Wait, wait, wait. Let me unmute you. I got to unmute you. Give me a minute, okay? And then you can share. <clears throat> unmute. Okay, so you're unmuted. Go ahead. The only stuff I haven't seen is a, a, a toothbrush and a swimsuit. A toothbrush yeah. and a swimsuit. Why would we need the toothbrush? Brush your teeth. 
to brush your teeth. Okay, and for the swimsuit, that makes me think that you're going to go during the summertime to go swimming, huh? Yeah. So your trip will be different from Ashlyn's because she wants to go in the snow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. I got a cake joke. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I see... Who else? Okay, so I see her in the corner. I don't have a name, but it says fire tablet, and I see, like, pink and blue. Okay, hold on. Let me unmute you. You saw what I'm talking about. Okay. Let me find you. There we are. Okay, go ahead and share. What do you have? Um, so I have... I have a blanket. I have a blanket. I have a blanket. I have um, pajamas. Pajamas. Yeah. And I have my tennis shoes. Yeah. With my oh, my water bottle. Um. I have a book in case I want to read in, in case ah, it means it. Right. So you actually brought something some of us haven't seen yet, and that's the book. That's very good. Um, and I also brought a notebook to write, like, if we go on a nature hike and we want to see what, and we could write down the things that we saw. Very good. I like that. Thank you for sharing. Okay. So, all right. So, let me see. Okay. So, I got girls raising their hands. So, I see Troop 3131. I'm going to unmute you. Give me a minute. And then you guys can tell me what you got on your end. Okay. So I have walkie-talkies. Oh, I love it. Walkie-talkies. I have, like, a charger at the same time, a flashlight. Uh-huh. I have two tents. You have two tents. Cool. And one of them is for my brother. Oh, nice. I got a first aid kit, except it's... In. It's in your bag? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you already packed it. That's okay. <laughs> I, I have some ramen so I could make it with my brother. A nice. One. A water bottle. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah, and stuffed animals and stuffed animals. And, and stuffed that. animals, okay. Yeah. What girl can't go camping out with, with some stuffed animals? My daughter takes stuffed animals too. <laughs> All right, thank you for sharing. No problem. All right, so now I'm going to go to, I see Madison's iPad. So I'm going to un unmute you, so give me a minute. Okay, sweetie, go ahead and share. Oh, you might want to unmute. Uh, try unmuting on your side. There we go. Okay, so what I brought was I brought some food. Mm hmm I brought my PJs. I brought, um, I brought a tent, a sleeping bag, and a um, a mini like little stove, and then I made my little tent. Also, my little fort. Nice. I like the fort. Can you? And on. then I also got a first aid kit. And a first aid kit. All right. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. All right. So. Let me scroll through. 
Okay, so let me see if I can find her. So miss, I see Naomi's iPad. So uh, I'm gonna unmute you. So go ahead and share with the girls you have. I have a can of tuna. A can of tuna? That's good. I love Some tuna. Corn. Corn. I have two bowls. A plastic spoon. I got a flashlight. A flashlight. I got... I got paper. What's the paper for? Um, to, um, to keep myself entertained, I can draw. Ah, there you go. Good job. Okay. I have the pen. Okay. And I have my pot. And that's it. All right. Thank you for sharing. Okay. All right, girls. So now we're going to, if some of you didn't get to share, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and move on to our next step. So when you guys actually meet with your troop, you can actually tell them um, what other supplies that you guys would bring. Okay. So that way you guys can share with them, or you can even share with your families over the phone. All right. So we're going to move on to the next step. The next step is we are going to talk about the food. What? That's the favorite part as Ashlyn gets super excited about food. So my food is going to look different from your guys' food. And that's okay because as long as you have some canned food, that's all you need. So the whole point of this activity is to make a meal out of whatever canned food or even if you have top ramen that'll work too because it'll it lasts longer so as you can see we have some ravioli we have some diced tomatoes some black olives some green beans some black beans and some corn so we're gonna put this in a pot and we're gonna cook it so whatever you guys have at home that you came up with, I really want you guys to make it with your parents. As long, make sure it's very important that when you do cook it, you have your uh, parent or your guardian there because we're going to be cooking over the stove, okay? So if you have top ramen and corn, put corn and top ramen together. We're going to taste it to see how it looks. So me and Ashlyn, we're going to actually put all this stuff in our pot, and we're going to taste it to see how it, it tastes. It may not be the best, but that's okay. We're going to try it out and see, okay? So once you guys actually complete your stew, what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of it, and you can send it to our customer care at girlscoutsccs.org org okay we will actually post it up and let you know where to send it to again and and uh and the email confirmation will go out if girls have missed some steps because i see that girls are coming in and out and sometimes the uh, internet connection can get lost so we'll make sure we'll email all that information out to your parents so you girls will definitely definitely cook all this stuff take a picture and then send it and then we can post it up on Facebook, okay? So it's important when you go uh, camping, whether it be in a tent or in a cabin, that you bring uh, your own supplies, of course, your kitchen stuff. Sometimes cabins might include some cooking utensils, but that's something you would have to check again to make sure. So for our camping utensils, we actually have this really big pot that I normally put chili in. Because if I'm cooking a lot of chili for a lot of people, I need a really big pot. We also have another pot that's cast iron and it's called a Dutch oven. So this one right here can actually be placed right into the coals and the fire and it'll cook. 
So sometimes you can see other people, there's all kinds of different recipes that you can look up. They can make dinners, you can make side dishes, you can even make desserts in here, and they turn out really good. So you guys can see that I have my spoon to stir, and then I have my bowl and my spoon. So like I said, me and Ashlyn, we're gonna make this stew. We're gonna taste it and see if it's good. So you guys are gonna do the same thing. Once we finish this video, I want you guys to make your dish. All right, so now we're gonna go on to learning a new camping skill. So during your camping time, there are many skills that you guys can learn. Well, in a cabin, it's important to know where everything is at and to actually practice a fire drill. So just kind of like how you guys practice a fire drill at school, you're going to practice a fire drill when you go into the cabin. So when you guys actually get in your cabin, you need to take a look around the area, make sure that there's a clear pathway to where you want to exit the building and go out and meet outside. So at home with your mom and your siblings or your dad or your grandparents, you guys are going to actually make a fire. Um, uh, excuse me, sorry. You're going to make an emergency fire plan, okay? Ashlyn got me distracted by the fox. I see that <laughs> fox. <laughs> so you're going to decide where you'll meet outside. You're going to make sure you know how to leave your cabin safely, know how to contact help, and then practice the drill. So I'm going to show you where we're going to, me and Ashton are going to go if something were to happen and we had a fire in our house or in our cabin, as we say. So that's my front door. <laughs> so we're going to go out our front door because it's the safest place for us to go because in my backyard or in my behind in my apartment I'm kind of trapped right there by the wall of ivy so with our front door it'll be better to go out that way okay and as you can see girls I have a clear pathway from the entryway to my hallway and even into my living room because we want to make sure that things are out of the way so we don't trip over them, we don't fall and hurt ourselves trying to get out of the cabin. So the same thing for you girls at home. You're going to make a clear pathway and practice the drill. So know how to contact help. Everybody should know that if something happens like this, we call, who do we call? Ghostbusters! No, who do we call? 911. 911. Yes, we are going to call 911 and let them know where we're at and what the situation is and how, what's happening. So sometimes in a majority of cabins, and it's really good to ask if your cabin has one, I don't know if you can see mine, but a smoke detector. So I have one right there in my ceiling that'll let me know if something's going on in my house or my apartment, okay? So those are things you're gonna look for when you go to your cabin. So now what me and Ashlyn are gonna do and what you're gonna do at home with your parents is you're gonna practice your drill. So let's say that me and Ashlyn, we're in our kitchen area. We're gonna actually walk outside, nice and calm. We're not gonna Bye. run or anything and then we're gonna go outside girls yeah, nice and calm so we're outside my apartment it's really bright so you yeah. see that there's still a clear pathway that we can still walk all the way around to the very front so there's nothing blocking our way that way we can move we walk <laughs> we walk so and that's how you guys do that that's how you would do it at home and in your cabin you guys would walk safely to the, the nearest place that your troop decides or your family decides where to meet. Okay? So that's where, that's how you guys would practice that. So, so for these steps, the cooking one and practicing the fire drill, you definitely 
We're not going to be able to do them together at this point, but you guys can actually practice at home with mom and dad, siblings, make it fun, make it interesting. Okay, so that was, we talked about our supplies. We talked about the food we're going to make. We talked about setting up a fire plan just in case. Now that you guys have done everything, we get to go to our cabin slash blanket floor slash tent slash whatever you have set up in your house. So we actually set up our, or oh, Ashlyn's tent in our little backyard that we have. So she's getting in her tent right now. I know it's kind of bright. Can you unzip it? So there she goes. She's got in, she's in her tent. No adults allowed, just, just the Girl Scout tent. So you can see that she's just going to hang out and chill in there. And that's how she's going to end her badge is by camping. So for your guys' badge, I know it says to go, go on your trip and go into the cabin. Well, eventually, you guys can actually do that with your troop and our family. But for tonight, today, to earn your badge, all I want you guys to do is to stay in your blanket for or your tent and do an activity in there so many of you actually brought a bunch of books that you want to read uh, i saw some girls who brought some games some girls who did some drawings so i want you guys to actually do that in your tent slash blanket fort so go ahead make your activities you can actually put your parents in there too if they'll let you go in there i don't know if ashlyn's gonna let me go in there no no? Okay, so it's just Girl Scouts. So I'm going to let her take a, probably a nap, maybe, and then we're going to go back in. So if your tent is, or your blanket fort is outside, you're definitely not going to leave, <laughs> the adults are definitely not going to leave their girls out there unless you're in a secured area in the backyard with a fence around it. But as you can see, mine, it doesn't have a fence all the way through. It actually ends at a certain point. Okay, Ashlyn, come on. She's got to get out of the tent. <laughs> come on. I'll come back out her out here with her so she can hang out. What do you mean? I'm not okay. <laughs> you can leave it unzip. It's fine. We have to take it down. All right. All right, girl. So now we're going to head back into my apartment. Bye. Okay. So that's what we did today. We talked about supplies, talked about making sure we have our first aid and the food that we're going to cook, and then establishing, establishing a fire safety plan. And then we actually go out on our camping, okay? So now I'm going to ask, do any girls or parents have any questions? Go ahead and raise your hand so I can see. I'm going to scroll through. And if my coworkers, so if Mary or Karina or Candace or even Miss Jenny see anybody with raised hands, they can let me know. Okay, so. I see, okay, so Ruben, I'm, I'm thinking that's your dad's name, so. Let me, hold on, let me unmute you and you can ask your question, okay? Or did you unmute yourself on that side? Okay, go ahead and talk. Um, so what do we like? So do we, so how long would we like have to play for? Like, do nope, have to. Huh? You did. Well, how long like we do the activity for? Okay. So you're still going to do the cooking. Okay. So you make sure you cook your meal with your mom or dad. All right. 
And then you're gonna come up, so if you wanna write out your safety plan on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and then make sure, like I was telling you guys, to make sure that your entryway is clear, like how mine is, so you guys can actually have a clear path. I'm wanna... not like really clear. Ooh, so then you guys gotta talk about that. How would you make it clear? What would you guys do to need to go through the uh, drill like that? So that's something well, we, you have to We got our backyard that has like a fence. Uh-huh. You can go like out of another way. Okay. But that side like, um, it has like a board on the bottom that we like right there. Ah, uh, okay. So, kind of like a clear way. Right, kind of, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. So that's something that you would have to talk to you, your parents more about to see which way would be better to go to the, out the front or to go to the backyard. You know, you got to think about those situations. If the fire is in the backyard, you definitely want to go out the front, right? Right. Okay. There you go. So later got... on, later on with, when we finish the video, you're going to make your stew with your mom or dad or your adult. And then you're going to make out your plan, okay? And then once you guys do that, you're going to go into your blanket fort or your tent and do an activity. And it doesn't have to be for an hour. It can be 30 minutes or less. But I want you guys to read a book or draw or watch a movie or play a game, okay? okay. Um, Delaney Simonic. How do Simonic. Simonic, there we go. Hi, Delaney. Okay. It's Miss Mary. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and unmute yourself on your side. Hi. What question do you have? Hi, Delaney. Hey. What do you have to share with us, sweetheart? So we can't sleep in our, and I can't sleep in my tent because. We have to bow our house because we found a tick yesterday. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. So we actually get to go camping inside of our trailer. Oh! <laughs> Ashley's face is fun. Ah, Licky, you're lucky, huh? <laughs> so, okay, so you actually get to go camping, camping. That's nice. So you're going to have fun doing it that way, huh? Uh-huh. All right. Well, you know what? We are so happy for you. That's exciting. Um, you know, go ahead and take pictures, too. And then when we send out your, to your mom or your dad for the email, we can love to, we would love to see those pictures of you camping in your RV, okay? Okay. Thank you and for Leilani. sharing. Lovani, yeah. Okay. Um... Hey, where is she at? at the second oh. end. I know. Here. She's got like. Oh, okay. Things. So troop thirty-one, thirty-one. Unmute you, and then ask your question. So, could you like cook the Tom ramen with my brother? How old is? You Okay, as long as you have, is your mom or your dad home or your grandparents yeah, yeah. or an adult? Okay, yeah. So you could definitely make sure your mom and dad are there with you, but you can both cook at the same time and take turns, okay? okay? So someone can okay. put top ramen in and the other person can put the corn in. Okay. All right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Who Denise else has also a question? Denise had a question. Who? Denise. Oh, okay, yeah. Denise, go ahead and unmute it on your side. There you okay, go. real quick, we just wanted to know if the meal had to be a full meal or if it could just be a meal for her. It could just be okay. a meal for her. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, anybody else? It looks like Abigail Avia has had her hand up for a while. Okay, no? Miss Abigail. No, <laughs> or are you just resting? <laughs> Looks like she was just resting. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Anybody else have questions? No? I don't see any more girls. 
Uh, any of my coworkers see any more girls? Oh, wait. I don't There's, see. No. No? Okay. Looks All like right. Raven has her hand up again. Where did she go? Oh, there we go. Okay, Rube, um, I, I know that's your dad's name, <laughs> Ruben. Go ahead and unmute it so I can hear what you have your question. Um, can we just roast hot dogs? Cause that's all we kind of have. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's you know what? That's fine. Go ahead for this under uh, this the situation that we're in. We'll go ahead and give the okay for the hot dogs. But okay. in the future, when you actually do your cabin camping or when you go on just regular camping, we'll definitely make a meal that has just like your canned food in it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, any more questions, ladies? No. Oh, okay. I see the uh, fire tablet. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Well, what's your so question? I, what happens if they only have a microwave there and we don't have and it and they don't allow um any grills? Oh, you mean at the cabin? There's gonna allow grills. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if they only have a microwave there and they don't have an outdoor space to cook, is that what you're asking? Yeah. What, yeah. what would happen? So, that's actually a really good question. So, what do you think we should do? What could we do? Um, we could bring some microwave meals. We could bring some microwave meals, right. Could we heat up the corn in the microwave? Um, yeah. Can we mix in my tomatoes and green beans and the black beans and even the ravioli into a bowl and put it in the microwave? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. But if we could heat up the corn, right, we could heat up those other things. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So we could bring microwave food, right, and we can put it in our ice chest or our refrigerator and we can bring canned food and cook it in the microwave so that would actually require for your troop to look into to see what other food you could cook in the microwave so that's going to take some research right mm -hmm. yeah that's a good question that's a very good question so when you guys do your research for the cabin you want to find out is there a stove that's the first, it's one of the first things you guys should ask is, is there a stove? And if not, is there a place to cook outside? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking. Is, does anyone else have any questions? I don't see any hands. Nope. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no, no more hands. All right, girls. So, like I said, don't forget to make your meal, to do an activity in your blanket fort slash tent, and then write down your uh, fire drill that you're going to practice at home, okay? So, Miss Ashlyn, say bye to everybody. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let me go over here. All righty, girls, bye. Thank you for coming. I hope you guys had some fun. Uh, invite your families into your tents and your four and play a game, read, draw, whatever you guys want to do. Okay. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye, ladies. going to do. Hi. Is it hi or is it bye? I'm just saying hi.